Want to make your phone faster? Tired of useless bloatware eating up your RAM? You have come to the right place. What's up guys, this is Carlton here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Lineage OS ROM on a rooted phone in the easiest possible manner. And I'll be showing you in steps just to make it easy. So without further ado, let's get started. So for the first step, you'll need to have a rooted phone. It's very easy to root a phone and so I will be not covering this in this video. You will also need to flash a custom recovery. To flash a custom recovery, we move to Google search and search for a custom recovery for your particular phone. Every phone has a particular way of doing it, but most of it is the same. So you guys might be thinking this is difficult, but it isn't and should take you about 20 minutes to finish. Also, having a custom recovery is very helpful and it makes installing custom ROMs very easy. You need to download two files that is your Lineage OS and GApps. We can find the files for your particular phone on the Lineage OS websites which will be linked down in the description. While selecting the GApps, make sure you download and install the correct GApps that is compatible with your phone architecture. To check your phone architecture, install an app called CPUZ which is available for free on the Play Store. So guys, we move into recovery by pressing the volume up, home and power button together. This varies on different phones and I will be linking it down in the description. So check it out. As you can see guys, I'm using the Filch Touch recovery. You can also choose between Clockwork Mod, TWRP and many more other recoveries. So guys, this is the most important step of this video and I repeat the most important that is to back up your ROM and apps. What this will do is that it will create a copy of your current ROM and all the apps. So if you face any problems or you don't like the ROM, you can always revert back to your previous ROM. So we move to backup and restore and select between restore to SD card or your phone storage as you prefer. This will take some time guys depending upon the number of apps installed and the ROM size. So moving on, after backing up, we move to wipe and format options and then select factory reset if you haven't installed any ROM before or if you have installed then you can select clean to install a new ROM. After that's done, we select wipe cache and then wipe Dalvik cache. After this, your phone is ready to install the Lineage ROM. Then we move to the folder that we placed the two previous files that we downloaded and flash the ROM first. We select the zip file and then select yes. After this is done, we repeat the same process for the gapps zip file. After flashing the two files, we select reboot device. The boot process will take some time. After that is done, configure your settings and boom, you gotta say the latest lineage. And you got yourself the latest lineage ROM. This ROM improves your phone performance quite a bit I would say and my score on, on Antutu benchmark was 16,664 which is pretty good for a phone this old. Yours might be even higher than mine so do mention your scores down below. 
So that's all for today guys. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and let's try getting 100 likes for this video. And hey, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you have any queries and suggestions, please don't forget to leave it down below. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.